issue that we're passionate about. We, I'm involved in counter-extremism, counter-terrorism work. Chris is doing his Occupy stuff. And we're like the full-back guys. So when people tell us that there's going to be nothing this year, me and Chris, we scramble together and we do what we can to do, put something together in two to three weeks that we have. So this is why, when it comes to the lack of information for the whole year, this is why, because we only did this in two to three weeks. And I understand people are angry, they want to see a bigger movement. And this is why we're saying now, we're opening up uh, our annual March Against Monsanto to you right now. If anybody wants to organize this next year, wants to basically build a movement throughout the whole year, get in touch with me and Chris. We're gonna take everyone's details down so that throughout the, throughout the year, we will basically support you in basically growing the anti-GMO movement and having hopefully next year we will have a bigger march against Monsanto because you know what everywhere around the whole world everyone is saying no to Monsanto right everyone is on the streets everyone who cares about the future of our children the future of what they eat you know what they're all saying no to Monsanto and it's a travesty if London doesn't also say no to Monsanto. So you know what? For me, it's not about the numbers, although the numbers would be great. It's not about the numbers. It's about the principle. It's about those little few coming together and saying, you know what? It doesn't matter who's on the opposing side. It doesn't matter if the government's against us. It doesn't matter if the corporations are against us. It doesn't matter about the infiltration. We need a group of people to say, you know what? Monsanto, you're not welcome here. And no matter what laws are being passed, you will never be welcome here. So you know what? It doesn't you are not welcome here. Me, Chris, you know, other organizations that are involved in this. We will help other activists who are more passionate about this to grow the movement. But you know what? It's going to have to be other people. Me and Chris, we can't do this year in, year out. We're doing other things as well. So if anybody else wants to take up the mantle for next year and really grow the movement, really get the numbers, really great, create a mass population against GMO, against Monsanto, then give us your details because we are really, we will support from behind the scenes, but someone else is going to have to grow the movement. That's just me being honest. So why, why me and Chris? Why did I get involved with Monsanto? Well, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't purely about GMOs. This is something that I'm learning right now. For me, it was about the politics. Really about the revolving door between Monsanto and the government and their arm in organizations that are involved in war and that are involved in death and destruction everywhere. Monsanto are representative of the elite. An elite that simply doesn't care for the 99% of humanity. An elite that is only that its only purpose is for one thing and one thing only, to make profit over human lives. And for that, that's one principle that we all have to stand against and say, you know what? Human lives over profit, human lives yeah. over money, the future yeah. of our earth, of our kids over money. Human lives is worth a lot more than money, than material. And this is what this organization, this movement must be about. It's about a fundamental principle of human rights, that human lives are above everything and the sac and, and you know what? Human rights, human lives, they're sacred. Human beings are sacred. This is a principle that is non-negotiable at all times. Anything that kind of breaches that principle, we stand against it. So this is why I'm against Monsanto, this is why I'm anti-capitalist. I hope that if people want to get involved in this movement, these are the things that we hold dear. We do not, basically, this principle of profit over human lives, you know what, that's something that we're against. Human rights, human lives, the future of our planet, the future of our children, this is absolutely non-negotiable. We will not negotiate on this. You know, these are our terms. And if Monsanto do not get on board with this, then we will oppose Monsanto at every single level. I don't care who's against it. I don't care if it's the British government. Don't care if it's the United States government. Don't care if it's bloody MI5. We are fighting 
for the right of our, 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 our own, you know, our own companions, our human, you know, our own human beings, our children, our earth. If we don't do it, no one else will. And we have to plant that seed at least. We have to plant the seed of hope. We have to plant the seed of activism that will always oppose the elites, that will always oppose Monsanto. And you know what? We will have to inspire hope because our children are growing up in a world that is more confused. They are growing up in a world that they don't know what's right and wrong. If we don't show them the way, no one else will. And we cannot afford that to happen. We do this for our children, we do this for our own fellow human beings, we are doing this for our own earth that is being raped of its resources. And you know what? I, am, I don't care about the numbers, I really don't. Just seeing a few people here today saying no, that's good enough for me. Because you know why? It's about the principle. It's about the fact that I can look back and say, you know what, on this issue, we were on the right. It doesn't matter how many people were here, or were here for us or against us. We did something. And you know what, all of you guys, give yourself a round of applause. You guys are here today. You know what, you guys are on the right side of history. And carrying on, we can move We can move on from here. We can learn from our mistakes. We can learn from the good things that we've done. And we can build a movement. The thing about Monsanto is that they're at the top of their game right now. And you know what, there's only one direction to go when you're at the top. That's yeah. down. Yeah. For us, we're at the ground level. We're at the foundation level. So that's one way to go, and that's up. And you know what? We can do this. We can do this, and we will do this. You know what? I'm, I'm very passionate about this. I'm going to go on and on and on. But you know what? I'm going to give it back to Hector. And I want to say, you know what? Give everyone, give yourself a round of applause for coming here. And I would like to thank you for coming here. I also would like to give you a round of, I also would like you guys to give a round of applause for my colleague, Christopher Prince. I don't know where he's gone, but without him, I couldn't have done this by myself. So you know what, thank you very much and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Okay.